Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome folks, Day the Hungry Gamer is back with another mini review, and today we're talking about Catharsis Sagas. And we're going to be talking about the two sagas that are already out, being chapters one and, you guessed it, chapter two. I've talked about Catharsis a lot. I did a video about it, shows you how to play. I actually have two playthroughs out. The most recent one is actually a mix of chapter one and chapter two coming together. I took the hero from one, the villain from another, because that's something that you can do. So go check out my Catharsis video if you want to know my overall thoughts on the game. In short, I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's quick, dice chucking. I really like kind of going through the boss decks. They're all different. All the characters play differently. Very, very clever stuff. But specifically, what do I like about the sagas? One, I like the small box. I really like it. It's a small, portable, though it still takes up more space than you think on the table, easily soluble game. I like that it can be mixed and matched with everything else that you already have for catharsis. I love that. Drop these monsters right in your main box, pull heroes out, mix and match all that you want. And the two new heroes, I think, are every bit as worthy as all of the old ones, though they actually come with a little extra mechanic. And they have the little magnetic boards that they have. There is one you're kind of sucking up souls and using that to power your powers. The other one, you're slowly unsheathing this amazing sword. And they work really well. They are very fun. I think for my money, I prefer the one with the sword, Kai. Though, I actually prefer fighting Valentina from box set two, which is actually why I put the two of them together. Now, I was talking about the bosses. The bosses also introduce a few new mechanics. In one of them, they have these mental these mental commands, and they're not called commands, but now I'm blanking on it, that you get stuck on different characters that are penalties that you have to deal with, but it tells you how to get rid of them. And those kind of come out through the game. You're kind of constantly dealing with those. While in the other one, it is a very clear story. You have card one up to card 30, and you go through in that order, but the choices you make allow you to jump around in the story, skip things, and Every single event that you deal with, you don't know if it's going to be day or night. And if it's night, it might be worse, and you're rolling dice. It's all very, very clever. But most importantly, what it does is something a little bit different that makes it, I think, worth it to someone who already has catharsis. So all of that, I, I think everything about it, I like. I think everything that it does is as good as the original or does something that I think is a little bit more interesting. So what are my quibbles with the game? This isn't going to make you like the game if you didn't already. It's still a bunch of dice chucking. It's a bunch of text, though the character art's very cool, but it's just a bunch of text. That's it. And you're chucking dice and you're doing it Yahtzee style. Sometimes you're just going to not get anything useful and that is how it's going to go. Nothing you can do about it. It doesn't have a ton of of story, which is weird because there's a lot of story, but I say this in the same way that I think of like Too Many Bones. Again, a game that I love, but your story is very episodic. You're getting these little episodes of things that are kind of happening, and you can string them together in your own mind to create the full narrative. Again, it's not going to change that. And then, of course, it's also still takes up a lot of space. These are really big cards, and because of that, they are able to put a lot of text on them, and you get a lot of the character art on the back. You can really enjoy that character art. But it takes up a lot of space for such a small box. It's a, it's a big game in a small box. So there you have it, folks. That is Catharsis, the sagas. I like them. I'm a big fan. I mean, you already probably know this, but I actually put some money in to help design one of the characters, and I believe it's going to be Saga 3. It might be Saga 4, but I think it's number 3. And we have this beauty that's going to be available for you to buy sometime in the new year. But as I've said many times, this is a really fun game if you're looking for dice chucking, if you like that Yahtzee mechanic. Keep in mind, this was an honorable mention game of the year for me. And this was a year that I think was massively strong with adventure and dungeon crawl games. And it really just became a, well, what is my personal preference. And for my personal preference, I like a longer campaign, and these are one-shots, but it's really fun. Honorable mention for me really means something. So 
Anyhow, there you have it, folks. That is the Catharsis Sagas, a almost a must-buy if you already like Catharsis. If you're curious about Catharsis, I think this is the way to go. Get an idea, and then you can jump into something bigger or just get more sagas. Small box, all of that, fantastic. And the last thing that I'll say is, if you're curious, there's a link down in the description to two of the playthroughs I did. One of them with the sagas, another one with one of the other characters, though I made stupid rules mistakes in that one, but still you can get the idea of how the game works. So, there you have it, folks. As always, if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, share, maybe become a channel member. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.